the future is here and it's terrifying look at this thing all right let's let's just jump in this thing, dude. This thing's such a scam, too. It's here. The first humanoid robot housekeeper. Thank you, Neo. For $20,000, you can pre-order 1X's Neo robot now, with delivery in 2026. I think you missed things. a tiny spot over here. Just one. E we nitpick robots. We we're nitpicking robots. This is terrible. They're going to turn on us. Little catch. There may be a human behind the curtain pulling the robot strings. So here's what's here's what's crazy about this. You're telling me that when I sit on my toilet and I say, Neo, I need you to get me more bum wipe. I'm out of toilet paper. I'm not actually saying that. I'm saying Deborah in St. Louis, mother of three. Come here and hand me the toilet paper while I sit on the toilet. While you look at me via a meta quest. You have my attention, Neo. You have my attention. If I throw up, will the robot throw up? Um. A company representative may need to peer into your house via Neo's camera eyes to get things done. To Dude. many people, this is crazy. You have to be okay with this for the product to be useful. But this is just absolute tech bro nonsense. Is Neo a useful product? We're twinning now, Neo. Home robots have had two big challenges, creating a safe and capable body and a smart brain. One X is taking on both of those, which is why Neo looks so different from a more industrial factory robot. Yeah, cause they, they just, he's in a onesie. If you, if you took the onesie off him, he'd look like the Terminator. They, they threw him in a Snuggie. Uh, Neo, it's 70 degrees here in California. Why are you wearing a sweater? Good question. Bert, why am I wearing a sweater? It's a combination of safety and just also generally aesthetics. You can think of it kind of like a skin, except if it was an actual skin, that would probably be pretty creepy. It would be Still creepy, is. But I actually wasn't all that creeped out by Neo. Inside Neo, it really starts Hold on a with... second. Wait, stop an actual skin hold that on. would probably be hold on, hold pretty on, creepy on. it would be creepy but i actually wasn't all that hold creeped on. out D neo got those yeezys i think neo's got those yeezys by neo inside neo it really starts with some very, very powerful motors that we have developed here at One X. These motors are so strong and light that instead of using the classical gears that you see in robots, we can actually pull on tendons loosely inspired by, by tendon, AKA a pulley and a rope. Biology and muscles. This allows Neo to move around, not just quietly and smoothly, but also be very, very lightweight and be very low energy in motion, just like people. That lightweight design is intended for our That's safety I put my in case the 66 pound robot falls. Although Neo is capable of lifting up to 150 pounds, it's not as superhuman as you'd think. Crush it. It's a walnut. I cannot. Shit, shit, shit. Why There's won't this you crack? concept that we think that robots are like superhuman in like pressure and yeah. like strength. And some robots are because they're heavily geared, but that means you're not sensitive right? And delicate. Neo doesn't work like this at all. It works more like us. So the finger strength of Neo is about the same as a human. That body. All right. So he can't kill you with, with his hands, but he'd kill you other ways. Like with that, like that pepper shaker he's got, club you in the middle of the night with it. He lets Neo try to do a lot of things humans do. Emphasis on try. Can I get a water? If only the real world didn't have doors. All in, it took Neo a little over a minute to fetch a water from the fridge 10 feet away. Thank you, Neo. Next mm. challenge, load three items in the dishwasher. Only three. You got this, Neo, you That's got it. That's what I do, I only put three dishes in it. No more, no less. Nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Come on, but oh, what happened to his finger? 
Look at his finger. He's already broken his finger. Oh my God. Oh, how do I get, get out of here? Look at that. Look down there. He's broken his finger. Come on, damn it. Hell yeah. Stretch those Yeezys out. Come on. Come on, and damn it. That took five minutes. The nice. new I saw isn't the one shipping in 2026. The new model will be safer and have better hand dexterity. Okay. The one I saw still needed to take breaks to charge and cool down. The challenge isn't just Neo's body, it's also its brain. The body has to perform tasks safely, but the brain needs to know how to do them on its own without human help. But right now, everything I saw Neo do was guided by a skilled pilot. Teleportation is essentially an intern. My house is going to be so I'm going to pay money to have somebody creep on me in my house and then load my dishwasher for five minutes with three cups. I mean, perhaps there's a market that I don't see. Hey when there is a human in the loop. And who is the voice I'm hearing right now of Neo? Hi, I am a remote operator in a different room in the building. And what's your name? So what? So, so if Neo messes up and you're yelling at it, are you yelling at, you're just yelling at another human being. You're yelling at somebody, they're gonna get pissed off. It's gonna like throw the cup down or something and start clubbing you. Uh, Turin. What's your real name? My real name is Turin. Like that's your name on your birth certificate? Yes, it is, believe it or not. Alan Turing was, of course, the famous computer science and artificial intelligence pioneer. But this Turing, with a VR headset an and AI, controllers... An AI pilot. Let me say that again. AI pilot. There's no AI being used. Because this guy is driving it. And also there's, there's clearly no like proprietary software because I mean, maybe, maybe very light stuff because that's just a meta quest. And then he's just moving it around with, with, with the controllers. How's AI do we got to stop with this stuff was the one actually operating Neo. That is until he handed me the controllers. I actually might throw up. I think my hand is I have no idea where I'm facing. This is okay. me doing the Macarena. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, we're fine. And oh, no. Neo had to go to urgent care. See oh, you, Neo. No. Why does Neo need to be operated like this no. in the first place? Because its brain, AKA an AI neural network, okay. needs to learn from more real world experience. The videos of the robot doing things via teleoperation become the training data to make the AI model smarter. All right. That's why 1X is putting Neo in the homes of early adopters. I think it's quite important for me to just say that in 2026, if you buy this product, it is because you're okay with that social contract. If we don't have your data, we can't make the product better. I'm a big fan of what I call like big brother, big sister principle, right? Big sister helps you. Big brother is just there to kind of monitor you. And we are very much the big sister. Depending on how much you want to trade, we can be more useful. And you decide where on that scale you want. That's sketchy. Depending on how much you want us to, let me, di let me dissect that out of tech, bro. Depending on how much we want to infiltrate your household and your life, this will become more useful. But until you do that, and then we can sell that data, and then we can train our neural network on you know, Neo not sticking his finger in the guac from your fridge instead grabbing it from the side, you're not going to have a good product. Also, why the sweater, how do you clean it? Like, here's the crazy thing. I mean, maybe without a sweater, he can, he can, he can do laundry, but he's just naked running around the house, putting his sweater in there. But other than that, now I've got more laundry to do. You know, he doesn't look the most, the most nimble to be. Do you right now know what things Neo in 2026 will do autonomously versus what it will do teleoperated? So when you get your Neo in 2026, it will do most of the things in your home autonomously. The quality of that work will vary mm. and will improve drastically 
quite fast as we get data. To be clear, on my visit, I didn't see NEO do anything autonomously. The company did share this video of NEO autonomously opening the door. You know, there's this new trending concept now called AI slop, right? Very aware. I do know. It's a very powerful concept of, let's call it robotics slop. It's the most useful kind of slop. Because if, if you put all of my glasses from my dishwasher in my cabinet, I'm pretty happy. It is going to be not perfect, but back to like just incredibly useful. Neo might not fold my shirt perfectly, but if an arm is like kind of hanging out of the shirt, holy shit, he folds like, like it's me. It's okay. It's robotic slop. It's it did. It's it to me at least like that's that's very okay. Honestly, it isn't bad. See, that's bullshit. If I did that, my wife would be like, "That's terrible." But because he's a robot, he gets a pass. That's bullshit. Thank you. But the reality is, at least at first, much of Neo's work will be done by someone else. There will be an app where you can schedule teleoperation, specifying exactly what and when you want Neo to do things in your house. So we want to, of course, make sure that we respect privacy as much as possible and that it's always on your terms. You are always in control. Some examples mm -hmm. of this is the teleoperator does not see you, right? We can blur people. Mm -hmm. Teleoperator also cannot go into specific parts of your home where you set no-go zones. So that's enforced on the software level. So even if the teleoperator would try, they cannot get the robot to go into those homes. And also the teleoperator can never connect to a robot unless you approve it. Other companies like Figure and Tesla are also racing to build humanoid robots and develop their own AI models to make them fully autonomous. As someone who's always dreamed of the home robot straight out of the Jetsons. Let's go home, Rosie. Yes, ma'am. The dream finally feels within reach. But I also couldn't shake flashes of ex oh machina. Oh my god, we're six out Do you have a name? Ava. Neo turns on the stove and throws some paper on and walks away. Can Neo do that? Will Neo do that? N Neo will not do that. Physically, can the robot do that? Yes. It's not will Neo do that, it's... Will Deborah in St. Louis, mother of three, do that? And just get fed up like, oh, oh, you clogged, you clogged the toilet again and I have to plunge it and that's what I'm seeing 7 a.m. in the morning? That's my commute? Could happen. Physically, can a lot of products in your home do something dangerous if they decided to? Yes. We will ensure that that is not something. If they decide it, my, my, my toaster isn't sentient. It happens from malfunction, doesn't it? My toaster doesn't go, you know what? Screw this. And it just goes and grabs paper. Thing that Neo is allowed to do. There yeah. are multiple layers of safety systems here that ensures that Neo cannot do something like this. Neo decides to take a very heavy piece of wood, like the top of a table, and drop it on me when I'm sleeping. Neo will not be able to, or allowed to. It's physically capable of, but it will not be allowed to pick up something that is that. He looked to the left, he's lying. Heavy. So it's like things that Neo cannot do is like pick up something that is very hot, pick up something that's very hot, heavy, pick up something that's very sharp. Nice job, Neo. High five. Nice. Oh, I'm over here. Spending the day with Neo. <laughs> oh, Neo killed my dog. He wasn't light, sharp, or hot. It was a bit like spending the day with a toddler learning how to do things in the world. Come on, you got more than, oh, I'm gonna break the robot. The next few years isn't about owning a super useful robot. It's about raising one, it's about, letting it learn. It's about, it's about funding slop to maybe get to robots, but it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad before we get there. I, I, think, I think the approach for robots is one that we would see from some futuristic movies where basically uh, instead of an all can do it robot, right? Or a large amount, like you'll have a robot that's just really good at cleaning. You know, you'll have a robot that uh, uh, fetches you stuff from the fridge, like the very specific, specific robots is what I think will happen. I don't think Neo um, is going to be ripping around mowing the lawn anytime soon. I think he's just going to sweep crumbs onto your floor and then hopefully your Roomba picks it up. But hopefully he doesn't step on your Roomba or get jealous and, and eat it or kill it. From your home, routines, and chores. All at the expense of the privacy of your inner sanctum. It's terrifying. Even if you think this is all crazy. Look, she's dressed like Neo. Look at that. At the expense at that. of Go the back. privacy of your inner sanctum. Look Even if you They look the same. She's wearing pajamas too.
Incredible. Maybe I was wrong this whole time. I think this is all crazy. What Neo really signals is the beginning of physical AI in our lives and homes. Bit of a delay. A future where we may work alongside a new kind of machine. What I really hope we can achieve is in five years, everyone has a very high quality of life. Everyone has a feeling of independence, irregardless of their age or any kind of disability. I do hope we can give people more of their agency back. Okay, so here's the detail on this. It's $20,000 if you want to order one now, or you can have it on layaway or rent to own basically for 500 a month. And that's going to allow somebody with a MetaQuest 2 to come on there and, uh, or MetaQuest 3 Pro, whatever, uh, come into your house and, and clean your toilet, maybe scoop your cat poop, slip into it, fall into it, get shit on its sweater, and then you're going to have to do the laundry. Uh, my verdict on this is that this company doesn't last. I think that this company is going to raise a bit of funds, but I think in the end, I think that this company is probably going to fail. And there'll be a lot of companies that fail as they try to figure this out. But I think we're a long ways out from a lot of this, man, because, I mean... <sighs> Every house is so different. Every dishwasher is so different. Every, every, uh, uh, there's so many variables and I just don't think that it's going to figure that out. So, you know, am I going to buy one? No. Am I going to rent one? No. Um, yeah, I'm a little creeped out from it and, uh, I'm even more creeped out that I'm just going to talk through two BDIs to actually somebody else. You can also know a hundred percent that they're going to do the, uh, the tele telecommunication with it for a bit through the U S and then they're going to, it's going to be India guaranteed. It's going to be in India or Panama or something going to offshore this thing. And then I'm going to, I'm going to have, <laughs> I'm going to have, I'm going to have to help somebody who i can't understand they don't really understand me load my dishwasher for four hours and that's just not a life i want to live so let me know in the comment section below if this is something that you would have in your home do you think this company is going to pass or fail and uh yeah uh, consider liking and subscribing i'm still creeped out by this thing we'll see you later have a great day